you know, over the last few years, I think there's this issue of um, GPU production. Yeah. Right. So even companies that had the money to pay for the GPUs um, couldn't necessarily get as many as they wanted because there was there were all these supply constraints. Yeah. Now I think that's sort of getting less. So now I think you're seeing a bunch of companies think about, wow, we should just like really invest a lot of money in building out these things. And I think that that will go for um, for some period of time. There is a capital question of like, okay, at what point does it stop being worth it to put the capital in? But I actually think before we hit that, you're going to run into energy constraints, mm-hmm. right? Because I just, I mean, I don't think anyone's built a gigawatt single training cluster yet. I mean, just to, I guess, put this in perspective, I think a gigawatt, it's like around the size of like a meaningful nuclear power plant only going towards training a model. And then you run into these things that just end up being slower in the world. Like getting energy permitted is like a very heavily regulated government function. And if you're talking about building large new power plants or large build outs and then building transmission lines that cross other private or public land, that is just a heavily regulated thing. So you're talking about many years of lead time. So if we wanted to stand up just some like massive facility um, to power that, I, I think that that is that's that's a very long term project. I think we would probably build out bigger clusters than we currently can if we could get the energy to do it. So I think that that's. Um, and that, that's fundamentally f- money bottlenecked in the limit. Like if you had a trillion dollars, I think it's time, yeah. right? Um, but it depends on how far the the exponential curves go, right? Like I think a number of companies are working on. You know, right now I think a you know like a lot of data centers are on the order of fifty megawatts or a hundred megawatts or like a big one might be a hundred fifty megawatts. Okay, so you take a whole data center and you fill it up with just all the stuff that you need to do for training and you build the biggest cluster you can. I think you're you, that's kind of. I think a bunch of companies are running at stuff like that. Um, but then when you start getting into building a data center that's like 300 megawatts or 500 megawatts or a gigawatt, I just, I mean, just no one has built a single gigawatt data center yet. So I think it will happen, right? I mean, this is only a matter of time, but it's it's not going to be like next year. It's It's one of the trickiest things in the world to plan around is when you have an exponential curve, how long does it keep going for? Yeah. And um. I think it's likely enough that it will keep going, that it is worth investing the um, tens or you know, 100 billion plus in building the infrastructure to um, assume that if that kind of keeps going, you're going to get some really amazing uh, things that are just going to make amazing products. Mm. But I don't think anyone in the industry can really tell you that it will continue scaling at that rate for sure. Right? In general, you know, in history, you hit bottlenecks at certain points. And now there's so much energy on this that maybe those bottlenecks get knocked over pretty quickly. But but I don't think that this is like something that can be quite as magical as just like okay, you get a level of AI and you get a bunch of capital and you put it in and then like all of a sudden the models are just gonna kind of like it just it, like I think you, you you do hit different bottlenecks along the way. 